But at this point now, Jesus is working with the disciples. Most scholars believe he's still doing some carpentry. He has not shown himself as the Messiah through miracles. Three words I want you to remember. Somebody say impartation. impartation. Number two, incubation. Number three, manifestation. See, there's an impartation of big things into your life through the supernatural. It can happen through the spoken word. It can happen through the word. It can happen when Pastor Art's teaching or Pastor Kuna's teaching or if he brought in a Casey Tree or if he brings in a Jensen Franklin or a Dr. Dave Martin. It can happen through, it could ha look at me, it could happen in one of our small groups where there's an impartation where you go, hey, I know I'm supposed to be something. Is an impartation. But every time there's an impartation, there's also an incubation time. Just because a woman, come on, first gets pregnant doesn't mean the baby's coming out in a month. There's an incubation time. It's good. There's a time where big things marinate on the inside before they're manifested on the outside. What if your calling is so big it took 30 years to marinate because something is fixing to happen that's going to change your children's children? Clap your hands and shout. Come on, clap up there in the, up in the balcony. Say so impartation, impartation. Incubation. incubation, manifestation. So for 30 years, Jesus is marinating. He has not done any, any miracles. He saw, he saw sick people at 22 and could not heal them because his time was not yet. He saw demon-possessed people at 26 and didn't cast the devil out because his time was not yet. I'm trying to tell you, you better pay attention because some of you, your time has come. And you don't want to miss it when your time comes. You don't want to hit the snooze button when the alarm goes off. <laughs> Clap your hands like you're catching something. Come on, go there with me, Honolulu. Come on. They're going with me in every city. You're going to go there with me? Somebody clap your hands like you're going to go. Come on, people. I taught this in San Jose, that little church of 7,000 people. I thought they were going to beat me up. It was so good. They were looking at me. I'm going to hit you. This is so good. <laughs> Watch. So Jesus is discipling the disciples. They go to a wedding. Only four of them are there at the time that he's chosen. Say Peter, Peter. Andrew, Andrew, Nathaniel, Andrew. say Philip. It was a common day, a common day. It was common, ordinary, usual, expected, standard. It was a common occurrence. It was a wedding. Most of these weddings, they would, the reception would go from seven to eight days. How many know that's too long? Lift your hand. What do you want to wear on the fifth day? Come on, people. Your hair would be wrong by the third day. The Brazilian blowout would not be straight no more. It's a third day. Say third day. So Jesus shows up to the festivities on the third day. So there's talk already going on in the, in the area. Oh, man, that's just, yo, man, Jesus is here, man. Did you see who just, I, I, was, I, was, I, was at the, I was at the Beverly Hills Hotel with my friend, uh, a friend of mine, and, and all of a sudden this famous actor came in, and you would know the actor, and, and as soon as that actor came in, everybody said, oh, that's so-so, oh, that's so-so. But, but could you imagine, the Messiah just walked in, he goes, Jesus, oh, that's Jesus, Jesus. Come on, somebody, it's Jesus. And the disciples, come on, rolling in like this. You know they had a walk, come on. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What are we going to eat? Yo, what's up? <laughs> it 
Say common day. Common occurrence. Say uncommon guest. See, one minute it was not his time. Next minute it's all about to shift. Because in that common day was an uncommon man who wherever he went, uncommon things could take place. Mary comes to him, Jesus, we have no more wine. He says, dear woman, why do you involve me? You, you know my time has not yet come to show myself as a Messiah through miracles. And most scholars believe all of a sudden she prays, she prays, and then God the Father says it was not his time, but now it is because everything shifts. I'm here to tell you by the end of this year, somebody's life is about to shift so much so that it'll be hard to recognize what took place in the first 10 months of the year. You better clap your hands and shout, I'm moving in the prophetic. You better clap, I'm moving in the prophetic. Somebody's life is gonna shift so much by the end of this year, you will hardly recognize what happened in the first 10 months. Come on, let me, come on, come on, come on, people. Somebody say supernatural shift. See, one minute it's not his time, next minute whoosh, he shifts. One minute he's thinking about, oh, Mrs. Smith's woodwork. Now he's thinking about, I got to save the world. This is real stuff. This is real stuff. This is real stuff. One minute he's got one thing on his mind, next minute, bam, something hits him, and, and he says, hey, get the, get the, get the, get the, get the containers, get them, fill them to the top. See, it was culturally correct. It was apropos or germane to fill it three quarters. He said, I'm not doing anything regular or common. Fill the water to the top. Fill it till it spills. I don't do anything regular. Come on, somebody. Do it overflowing. Fill it to the top. He, come on, come on. He showed us what he was about from miracle number one. I am the God that is more than enough. Fill it to the top from miracle number one to miracle number 1,001. You better clap your hands and shout somebody. Come on, clap, clap, clap your hand, people, people. Somebody help me. Somebody, come on. He, you better, somebody. 